Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, we're going to get a good one for you today. Galliafi and August, uh, Augustin Gotto, which is a really good fight. Galliafi is a prospect that's on everyone's radar. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's also down below. Uh, the Patreon just five dollars. Five dollars a month, get the lock of the week. Uh, the lock of the week. Who's my Brittany? Get the lock of the week. Uh, ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap, any fight. Make a video. I will do it upon request. You also get a free T-shirt. All that for just five dollars a month. Also join, uh, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. It's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research. And recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Galia Fi, Augustin Gotto of Argentina. A lot of good stuff on him on YouTube. Fun fighter. But let's start with Galia Fi, a 31 year old Olympic gold medalist. He's a southpaw. He's lightning, lightning quick. Great angles. He hits you from a barrage of angles. Chris, clean shots. He's not one of these guys like Luke Campbell with this amateur pedigree where he's just looking to score and outpoint you and it doesn't really translate to the pros. No, no. He's a good fighter. He's a good pro already. He's just 6-0 for knockouts. He's got decent pop, but I compare his pop to like Caleb Plant out of, you know, at the higher weight classes. He can hit. He just doesn't really commit. He doesn't really look to string shots together and, and knock you out, but he's not feather fisted. He's got four knockouts and six wins. Uh, I'm not saying he's going to get the knockout here, but Galliafi can, can hit. He, he can hurt you. Stalking forward methodically. He, he, he comes forward a lot. He comes forward a lot more than people think. He comes in from a barrage of angles. He throws you know a, a ton of different shots. He, he mixes it up really, really well. Very good volume. He can walk his man down. He's a good offensive fighter. People look at him and they think he's going to be a defensive fighter. No, he's he's on the prowl. He's on the attack offensively. And he does it in, in, in a way where he's working his angles, mixing up his shots. I like to see him throw in a little more combination. Sometimes he's just throwing one shot at a time. But he's got great footwork, great angles. He can keep the distance. He can close the distance when he wants. He can keep it at distance. He's an A-plus skilled fighter. He still needs to prove it at the highest level. But his skills suggest he's an A-plus fighter. He's accurate from long range. Good legs. He can stand in front of you and make you miss. It's just, you know, he doesn't have to hold. He doesn't have to run. He can stand in front of you and just make you miss, which is exactly what you want in a, in a defensive-minded fighter, except he's an offensive-minded fighter. He's a really, really good prospect. He's a really, really good fighter. Great ring IQ. Great ring generalship. He's... All around, he's fundamentally sound. He's really, really good at every element of boxing. He's definitely a prospect to keep your eye on. I don't really want to call him a prospect. because He's only had six fights when he's 31. He's an Olympic gold medalist. He's ready for big things now. Augustin Gotto. It's it's tough to get a real good gauge on him because a lot of his fights end pretty quickly. He got knocked out by a Filipino guy once in two rounds. And he's really only had one fight that's gone. The dis has gone... Uh, in 10 rounds. So you got to watch as much tape on him as you can to kind of get a, a feel on him because his fights are rel usually relatively short. Pretty good footwork. He's pretty bouncy. He's pretty athletic for a come forward guy. He's an offensive fighter, but he's a counter puncher. He doesn't like to go first. He likes to counter you. I wish he would use his jab more and, and set things up and be first. But if you watch the tape, that's that's not what he is. He doesn't work behind his jab. He, he works. He gets aggressive. He's got good pop. He's got good timing on his counters. He's he's in a good rhythm, but he wants you to lead. He, he wants you to lead, and he'll be your dance partner. I think Yafai will lead. I, I think Yafai will cooperate with him. I just think Yafai's a lot better. There's not a whole lot of lateral movement in, in Gauto. Uh He wants to come forward, but he wants to counter. So he's a, he kind of an, an interesting fighter. He, he He's physically strong for the weight class, and he wants to kind of bully you and get you to throw at him. And when you throw at him, he's going to counter you. And he's going to throw wide, and he's going to throw power shots. 
He's going to commit to his shots. He throws hard shots. He's a, he's a big hitter. Offensively on the inside, he's a good fighter. And that's why your fight is going to want to keep him on the outside. If I you fight good to the inside too, but why fight a guy on his only strength? Nice hooks. He mixes it up head body, good body puncher, good clean uppercut on the inside. He's a good offensive fighter on the inside. He gets a little wild, and he's easy to hit in exchanges. He gets overly aggressive in the exchanges. You can sit back and you can counter him. Uh, let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this fight. Again, this is on the. The zone card, the matchroom card, uh, live Saturday. All right, so here's what we got. I like the over six and a half rounds. These Argentinians are tough. I don't think he's going to get them out any earlier than that. I think six and a half is a safe bet. And you buy on the money line. He's a minus two. He's a minus nine hundred. So a two times bet on this. I think it's safe. Uh, minus two hundred is going to make you twenty two twenty two. Not a ton of money. But it is what it is. It's going to make you 22 22. And then we're going to put one times bet on the over six and a half. And that's going to make you $80. So it's it's 102 22 on a $300 bet. So you were able to bring this down as long as it goes over six and a half to about, you know, a minus 300 total odds if, he, if we hit on both of these, which I think both of these are safe. Your father's going to win the fight. So that 22 22 is safe. Now, the other question is. Where most of my profit on this bet is coming in, the over six and a half rounds. Uh, the over six and a half rounds, I feel good about that. I, I think if I was going to keep the fight on the outside, I think he's going to not engage. So I, I think six and a half, I think we're looking over. Can he stop him later than that? Potentially. I think my my guess, my hunch is it does go the distance. Uh, this is a scheduled 10-rounder. So we got some leeway that he can still get a late knockout. But my guess is, yeah, it, it does go the full 10 rounds. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. But this is fairly easy. You buy money line and over six and a half. And, and that's how we make money on this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's right there below as well. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book you anything. I handicap any fights. Just let me know. I'll make a video upon request. You get it for your T-shirt, all that, and more for just five dollars a month. Uh, also, uh, Texas Boxing is seen on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is April fifth, twenty twenty four. I can't believe we're in April already. It is April fifth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.